we have average energy per molecule of a gas is equal to half kb into t where kb is the boltzmann's constant and t is the absolute temperature and this is according to law of equipartition of energy law of equipartition of energy suppose if if we consider one mole of gas for one mole of gas the average energy let's say e bar is equal to we have e into that is energy into the avogadro number so e is equal to half kb into t into na avogadro number but kb into na that is Boltzmann's constant into Avogadro number gives the universal gas constant. So this is equal to half RT. So that's that's the energy associated with one mole of a gas. Suppose this gas molecule has F degrees of freedom. That is F equal to number of degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom. This energy is actually associated with a degree of freedom, that is 1 degree of freedom. Suppose the molecule has f degrees of freedom, then the total energy or we can say that total internal energy, internal energy, internal energy, let's represent that with letter u, total internal energy is equal to f times the energy associated with a mole of gas. So the total internal, internal energy is equal to F into half RT. Or we can say that F RT divided by 2. That is U equal to, let's say U equal to F RT divided by 2. Now you have the molar specific heat at constant volume that is cv the expression for cv is actually for one mole of gas it's the derivative of total internal energy with respect to temperature this is actually cv so we have cv is equal to d by dt of u is equal to frt divided by 2 since this r t and uh, sorry this f r and 2 are constant you can take that out f r by 2 d by d t of temperature which means c v is equal to f r divided by 2 let's say that as equation number 1 when you apply mayer's relation when you apply mayer's relation you have c p minus cv equal to universal gas constant or cp equal to cv plus r therefore cv cp equal to you know cv equal to fr by 2 fr by 2 plus r so this is equal to you can take this r outside r into f by 2 plus 1 or you can cross multiply so cp is equal to r into f plus 2 divided by 2 let's call that as equation number 2 now we have specific heat ratio specific heat ratio gamma equal to gamma equal to this gamma is the specific heat ratio specific heat ratio gamma is equal to cp divided by c which is equal to cp equal to r into f plus 2 divided by 2 divided by cv equal to fr by 2 fr by 2 you can cancel this r and this r and also this 2 so which is equal to f plus 2 divided by f this can be written as f by f plus 2 by f so gamma will be 1 plus 2 by f 
So this is the relationship between the decrease of freedom and the specific heat ratio. Gamma equal to 1 plus 2 by F. And if you take the special cases, that is for a monoatomic gas, let's take A for monoatomic gas, atomic gas, and you know for monoatomic gas F equal to 3, it has 3 degrees of freedom. So if you apply that in here, gamma, let's say gamma mono equal to 1 plus 2 divided by instead of F, you have to put 3. So cross multiply 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 5 by 3. That's gamma specific heat ratio for monoatomic gas. Now if you take for diatomic gas, diatomic gas, you have F equal to diatomic gas. There are two kinds that is for rigid one and non-rigid. I'm just taking the rigid molecule. Rigid molecule, it has 5 degrees of freedom. So, gamma diatomic, diatomic of the type rigid is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by the formulas, 1 plus 2 by, you can put 5 for it. So, this is equal to 5 plus 2 divided by 5 equal to 7 by 5. So, that's the gamma for diatomic molecules of rigid type. And there is another kind of diatomic molecule that is of non-rigid type. That is, let's take C equal to diatomic, diatomic of non-rigid type. Rigid type. I'm not discussing about how you got this uh, number of degrees of freedom. We are only concentrate. We concentrate more on how to find the gamma, already we know the value of F. There is a reason why the for diatomic molecule, the F is equal to 5 and of non-rigid molecule, let's say here F is equal to 7. There is a reason behind this and in this session we are not discussing about that. Okay, so for diatomic mo molecule with non-rigid type, there are 7 degrees of freedom and we have gamma is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by F is equal to 7 and the answer will be 9 by 7. Clear. Now for triatomic gas, let's discuss all that kind of gas, all the kinds of gas. Now the triatomic D, triatomic gas. For a triatomic gas, of there, for the triatomic are of two types, a non-linear and linear type. First, let's discuss about non-linear type. A non-linear diatomic mo triatomic molecules has six degrees of freedom. So, gamma, let's say triatomic, is equal to one plus two divided by six, which is equal to one plus. This can be written as 1, 3, 1 upon 3, 1 by 3, which is equal to 3 plus 1 by 3 equal to 4 by 3. So that's the specific heat, heat ratio of triatomic molecule of non-linear type. But what if it has, let's say, triatomic molecules of linear type? In triatomic gas, of linear type, linear, let's say, linear type. This triatomic means there are three atoms, diatomic means, means two atoms, that, that thing you know, I'm not elaborating on that topic. So triatomic gas of linear type actually has seven degrees of freedom. So gamma triatomic of linear type this one is non-linear, non-linear is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 7, which is equal to 7 plus 2 divided by 7 or 9 by 7. 
Okay.